I booked a job and I am like, I'm pretty excited. This is the first project period where I've had to travel to Arizona with my new agents. I live in California, so I'm going to like a whole nother state because I have representation there and I'm super excited. So let's go pack. I'm going to do my best to take this carry on because it's tiny like it's it's so petite and it also will fit a lot of my my voucher and stuff because it has a little compartment right here where you can open it and like put your your laptop and like pieces of paper that's something different from this agency that mdt my agency in san francisco doesn't do anymore my agency in san francisco used to have us fill out a voucher but they don't have us do that now and then for signature models and talent in arizona they did send me a pdf that i need to print out and take so that production can sign me off when i leave set every day but if I can't fit everything in here then I'm going to take this one that's a bit bigger but it's still regulation like southwest sizes because I am flying southwest I'm a little concerned although I still have a bit of time right now it's Sunday night and my agent sent me an email on Friday letting me know of some of the details of filming so it's going to be filming Tuesday, Wednesday, but I'm actually leaving here tomorrow, Monday, because I want to make sure that I'm there before I actually have to shoot. My call time is 8.30 a.m. They didn't give me any description of clothes or hair and makeup, things like that. It said to just come to set with clean hair, clean skin, nails, you know, everything neutral, clean. Wardrobe, they're going to supply it. I'm nervous that they're the ones that are going to supply it because what if they're not? I haven't heard anything from... Um, actual production about what I'm supposed to bring or not so I don't even know the vibe of it all I know it's that it's for a mattress commercial and I'm shooting two days so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring one casual option blue jeans with a couple of shirts black jeans with a couple of shirts a little bit more dressy oh I like this Maybe they're going to give me a shirt. I don't even know if I'm playing an employee or a customer. Like, I've heard nothing from production. Luckily, my flight tomorrow leaves around 3 p.m. So basically, I'm going to email them like at 7 a.m. And hopefully, they'll get back to me by noon or so. And whatever I don't end up using on set, I'm just going to use as my clothes. So I don't have to pack extra. I'm just going to pack like whatever I'm going to wear. I'm already doing too much. I think it'll be fine. I live in California. How did I get agents in Arizona? Like, what? How does that happen? It's because I went to the Southwest Actors Conference in 2022 and 2023. I actually met a few agents from this agency, Signature Models and Talent, and I wasn't actually really planning on getting representation in Arizona until one of the agents just like asked me if I had rep in Arizona, and I said no. You That's so sweet. I do. <laughs> in Arizona, I do. There you go. Let me give you my card. I only auditioned for Signature Models and Talent just because um I I like had more of a relationship with them you know the other ones I honestly didn't even audition for or anything but I got my first job and this is really really fast because I signed with signature models I I'm gonna just I'm just gonna say smat I signed with smat in November and I had already signed my contract but before even the orientation I did an audition and I got a call back which I was like what this is crazy that I got a call back already and then I think I've only done like two actual self tapes for them this one the one I am flying out for I booked through my headshots and my reel because I didn't even have to do a self tape if I do hear back from production tomorrow before I leave for the airport I will definitely unpack some of this stuff which usually production would have already contacted me about sending an option so that I can send in outfits and then they can get them approved. In reality, I probably don't have to bring anything. And I'm bringing a black uh, robe so that when we break for lunch, I don't necessarily have to change. I can just wrap myself up. This is the backpack I take for traveling and I think I might be able to fit more stuff in here than in my carry-on. Um, but it just has like a million pockets so I love to take it. I'll take a couple of these sunscreen.
morning. I just finished filming a couple of auditions and I heard back from my agency and I was just nervous that this was like an automated type of email where it says just bring nude undies, but they confirmed that production is indeed gonna dress me from head to toe, except for undergarments. I'm actually gonna unpack some of the stuff that I already packed. I am packing my travel self tape stuff. This mic that I'm using is pretty good at ignoring background noise so i'm not going to take my lavalier and i do need to edit a couple of self-tape auditions while i'm in the airplane so i'm taking like all of my stuff i have a couple ssds in here over here i'm basically gonna put everything else i think i got a little too excited with the whole packing thing because i had to unpack my makeup to film my self-tape audition this morning because i had to do my makeup so now i am like reevaluating what I actually need to bring. I have an audition due Thursday early morning. And since I don't get back till Wednesday late night, I'm going to try and film this audition while I'm at the hotel. I need to pack all of my electronics, including what I'm using right now. So I'll see you later. I just got off the phone with the casting director asking if I can do a job tomorrow. <laughs> That's the third job that I booked for the exact same day. I'm on my way to Phoenix to film a commercial and I had to say no to a feature film in the Bay Area and now I just had to say no to a fun like YouTube video in LA and this one was for you know those kind of videos where it's like a row of people and it's like which one's the real drag queen or which one's the real doctor things like that this casting director calls me and he's like hey Belgica like I wanted to see if you could shoot tomorrow and I was like no I'm at the airport on my way to go film something else. He's like, oh, it's a nice problem to have. But how fun, how cool would it have been if I could do all three? I made it safely to Phoenix and for some reason I always end up going to Bobby's Burgers because it's just such an easy, delicious thing to grab. Then I got my Uber and went to my hotel. I would say this room is... It's pretty nice actually, I'm being picky. Uh, just because the, the hotel I stay in for the actors conference in Scottsdale is like so nice and it was about the same price as this, maybe a little bit more expensive, but like by 10 or $20. The thing about this hotel room though is that it has a full kitchen, like refrigerator, a big refrigerator, an ice maker. So if I was to be staying here a long time, this would be really nice to have a whole kitchen. They don't serve breakfast, which sucks because I didn't bring any food to cook, but and they have a dishwasher. <laughs> the bed area is pretty cute. And the bathroom is fine. It just feels like a little bit used, you know, but like, duh, hotels are used. <laughs> very, very spacious. This definitely feels like something that somebody who's working here would get because there's a giant desk and I think that used to be a mirror. Why is it like that? Oh, it's a board. So you can like pin stuff to it. See? Yeah, this really feels like an office, like a, a board, like a cork board to pin stuff in. I'm gonna check my email because I haven't received any text message, oops, from uh, production as far as just anything, really. I haven't received any communication. So I'm gonna, oh wow, look at that. Hi, Belgica, this is Janelle and Angie. Oh, I just got a text from my agents making sure that I saw that my call time is now at 9 a.m. And they also sent me an email. Oh, they sent me an email about an hour and a half ago. This is a little strange that I haven't had any communication with production because I usually have some kind of communication, but it's because I don't have to bring wardrobe or anything. So that's probably why they don't need to communicate anything with me. And my agents gave me the contract to print which reminds me i need to go print that i should print that now instead of trying to figure it all out tomorrow i'm gonna print that shower and then watch tv and go to bed because here it's already 7 30. california time it's 6 30 but i just want to relax <laughs> good morning i'm just packing up to leave for set luckily i they didn't want me to do anything to myself except come clean so i'm just packing like a bunch of extras my Uber's two minutes away, so I should head out. <laughs> When I got to set, I checked in with the producer and he introduced me to everybody that was working that day on crew. I was the only talent today. And I tried on a few different wardrobe options that Pap got for me and then went to Lillian so she could do my hair and makeup. It's lunchtime. I'm so sleepy from laying down. But I'm gonna change so I don't 
get these pretty PJs dirty. I'm back at the hotel and I got released super early, like three o'clock tomorrow. We have even less shots, so I might actually get released even earlier tomorrow, which is good and bad because I'm gonna have all my suitcases. I fly home tomorrow. Maybe I can get a flight earlier. Today was pretty good. I didn't film too much on set just because I like to get like the vibe of everything and ask the producer if it's okay to film anything. But of course, we'll release it after the commercial is actually out. And now I just texted a few friends that I have in Phoenix to see if anybody wants to have dinner with me because... I don't really have anything to do. I mean, I do. I have auditions, so I'll definitely be able to film one of my auditions today. I'll just have to memorize. I'm working around because I need a little bit of props for this one and then go have dinner. But also there's traffic, so maybe I'll have dinner early if nobody can hang out. And then that way I can just come home and or come to the apartment, not the apartment, the hotel and film myself tape. It's pretty lonely, you guys. It sounds so glamorous to book a job and fly out for a job, but then look, me by myself for the rest of the day for like at least seven hours before I fall asleep. And I have work to do, but still it's just like, it's like not my house and it feels lonely. Will I be brave enough to go have an adventure by myself? I don't know. <laughs> It looks like I'm pretty far away from downtown Phoenix, so I don't really even know where to go. I'm just gonna stay in. I'm gonna go get food and eat it in my hotel by myself because two of my friends said no because they're busy. So do you want to come grab dinner with me? <laughs> I got my food. Honestly, I should have just ate in there because I didn't want to take up a table just by myself because it was a Korean barbecue place. <sighs> but then once I went to go use the bathroom, they had so many tables in the back, so I could have, but it's okay. This way I can just like eat slowly, watch TV. I got beef bibimbap with all the little, what are the sides called? Are the sides called bunchum? Since checkout time is before I get wrapped today on set, I'm packing up and checking out of my hotel before leaving for set. Once I got to set, I did the same hair, makeup, wardrobe. <laughs> I'm back on set and I'm gonna change into my PJs again. Since this is day two, I do feel a lot more comfortable knowing what how everything is going down. So it's much easier. We were able to chill and we were teaching Everybody each other our forward. knitting okay. abilities. Do you guys want to be in my vlog? Yes. Just done a whole row. Put your head down and you snuggle in. But do I start with it? Like, are we starting recording here? Yeah. Uh, and then it comes yeah. up. And yeah. Then she Feel good? Yeah, let's do it. Let's give it a shot. Roll that. Okay, here you go. And stop. I'm wrapped. It's one o'clock on Wednesday and they let me out super early. The hardest thing about this entire shoot was trying not to fall asleep because there was a lot of time in between takes where they had to like move certain things, but I just had to wait, like laying in the comfy bed. And if I'm posting this, it's because the commercial's already out. Time to head to the airport because I'm all done. That was such a lovely time. It would just felt like we were a bunch of friends just being like, hey, let's shoot this commercial thing for Serta. It's just really fun and like nobody was ever in a huge hurry being like, oh, we're so behind, like let's, it was just great. Oh my God, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I got on a flight way earlier than I <laughs> I was gonna do this last night, this self tape audition, because it's due tomorrow. And this is like a festival girl wearing a festival outfit and they wanted like psychedelic tapestries, which I do have some, but I just can't find them. So I grabbed everything that I have with patterns and I'm just gonna overlap them. I got the self tape in early, didn't end up booking that job, but here is some of the footage I found on the Serta website from this shoot. And thank you again so much to my agents, Signature Models and Talent, 
in Phoenix um, for helping me get this job. I only know that this project that I worked on is out because I happened to go to the website and I found myself. So pretty much any time that I work on something, I have to seek it out or a friend sees me on TV or something and sends me a recording of it. But usually, no, production does not send me the final product.